hey welcome back to my channel so this will be the part 2 of the Django tutorial so if you have been following along with the series you would already be knowing about how to install Django set up a virtual environment and to run the server so if you guys remember in the last video we ran the server but we got a default Django page so now how do we change that and like enter in something like hello world or something so now let's see how we can do that so the first thing you need is an IDE or an integrated development environment so what that is is basically it is just a very easy way to edit your code and to manage big files so let's so now I'm using the IDE VS code and I would highly recommend that if you want to install VS code just go to Visual Studio code and just install it okay now I install it for Windows because I am on Windows but guys please don't mix up Visual Studio code with Microsoft Visual Studio code they are not the same thing I actually ran on Microsoft Visual Studio code and I had some issues um, installing certain stuff so I would not recommend Microsoft Visual Studio code just go for Visual Studio code all right so just install it so after you install it um, you'll be seeing something like this uh, so now you have to open your folder so just open the folder you made so let me scroll down okay so now the folder I made was YouTube and inside YouTube I had Mr. Code right so I like uh, just directly opened up Mr. Code and yeah it's loading up so we have the welcome page we can cancel this out we have db.sqlite3 which will be our default database and we have manage.py to uh, run the server start apps and do things like that so here we have Mr. Code right so this is our main file so inside Mr. Code, what all do we have? We have settings.py. Now this is an important file. We'll talk about that later. Then we have urls.py. We'll be needing that for the session. Um, then we have vsg.py. We, uh, we don't need that yet. And yeah, so this is our urls.py. This basically handles which page you will show the user when he passes a request command. I mean, a get request per se so now what do you have to do now now we have to start an app but like some of you may ask me like why should we start the app well, like can't we just code in this main mr. code folder itself so the problem is like in the long run it will be hard to like uh, manage everything per se so normally like we have a separate app for login page separate app for the uh, or the sign up page and like many apps like that so it's like good like if you like have separate apps for like different purposes so like it'll be much easier to manage things in the long run so okay now how do you start an app or how do you make an app so you have to go to terminal from terminal just go to new terminal and you should get the terminal okay so now how do you make an app so you will be using the manage.py function itself so let's wait for this to load okay so here you go I have got the terminal open so now how do we make an app so you should just put in the command saying python manage.py and start app because you're gonna make a new app right and you can name that uh, like anything you want I'm gonna be naming it unique alright and just press enter and this should make an app for you so there's something wrong it didn't make the app okay now why didn't it make the app for me can anyone guess it didn't make an app for me because I am NOT inside my virtual environment remember guys everything running on your stuff I mean basically your project is inside your virtual environment so now you be, we have to get inside the virtual environment so I can just put work on new 
so if i put work on new i'll be inside my virtual environment new and now i can do the same thing python manage.py uh, start app unique let me just cut this off okay let's see if this works and there you go it worked as you can see here i have my main folder mr code but below that i have a folder under that that is called unique right so this is our app all right so uh, this will be the app we are working with so let's cancel this urls.py out we don't need that uh, now so just as we have a urls.py for our main folder that is mr code we also need to have a urls.py for the unique folder right because we want some um, stuff to manage everything on the unique app so we need a urls.py in the unique app as well how do we make that just right click it and press on new file just name it a urls.py all right so this is our urls.py of unique so now let's open up our urls.py of our main folder so there are a few things you need to do first thing is you have to import path from django.urls um, because you will be needing that so i can just do from um, django.urls import path now you also need to import one thing you have to import views as well i'll be saying why in a second so from all i can import views okay now we have to set up our url so now whatever we are doing in the unique app we want it to be shown in the home page right so like whenever you land on the site like there'll be a home page so whatever we are doing now like hello world we want that to come on the home page so i'll just make a variable called urls patterns now this will have all the main stuff all right so we'll have path now how do you like reference a home page in django you can just put a pair of empty strings and that will refer to the home page so for the home page what do i need to do i want to go to views dot home page and i want to search for home page so i'll say what this does so basically we need to have a function because once the user will send a get request for the home page we need to give the user some response right so yeah so this will go to views and it will search for the function home page but we don't have a function called home page so we'll have to make that all right so let me go to views so views should be in your app as you can see views.py let me pull that up and to save this just press ctrl s so when i go to views.py we have this right okay so now we so over here what we mentioned is we'll have a function named home page so i'll just define a function called home page and this will be dealing a request from the user right because the user will send a request to view the home page so we'll put requests in the pair of brackets and now what do you want to return exactly so now we could do uh, i mean like we could like redirect it to like a html page but we like learn that a bit later for now we just need something like hello i am learning django to come in the home page so instead of like making a html file and like linking the html file to this i can just do something like return http response and i want to print out hello i am learning django all right okay 
Now, this may give me an error because I did not import HTTP response, right? So you will have to import that. So I think you have to import it from django.http. Hopefully I'm right. So I can just do something like from django.http import HTTP responses or response. All right, let's save it. So now what? Now do you think it will work? Let me just run the server. Python manage.py run server and wait for the server to uh, run. As you can see the server started. So let's go and search for our server. We'll just do 127 localhost. Okay, now why did we get this? We wanted something like hello, I'm learning Django to come um, in, uh, as a home page, right? But why do we get the default page again? Okay, so now what happened is we like set up the urls.py for our app, right? But we didn't do anything to the main urls.py in Mr. Code. Just imagine like Mr. Code to be the boss so like whatever happens you're supposed to like mention some of it to him as well all right so this is the urls.py of mr code so in this urls.py you are supposed to mention that for the home page you want to bring in the urls.py of the unique app right because in the unique app only like you passed the command saying that you want to go to views and fetch something so in this urls.py in the main Mr. Code folder, you are supposed to mention that you want to go to uniques urls.py. How do you do that? So the first thing is along with path, you have to import include. I will say why in a second. So now this will be a path, right? So now for home page, what do you do? Just put a pair of empty strings. So for the home page, you want to include the urls.py of unique right so you can just put include put a pair of brackets and put urls.py oh no actually i have to put unique.py i mean unique.urls okay so now this will fetch the urls.py from the unique app let's save it and it's reloading let's wait for this to reload I got an error. Now, why did I get this error? Invalid syntax. Oh, I forgot to put a comma. Oh no, I always forget that. Let's save it and wait for it to reload. Hmm. It says unique is not defined. Now, why does it say unique is not defined? Because I didn't put the pair of upper quotes now it should work this is a learning i mean a work in progress so like let's like learn along the way and we again got an error um django.urls import oh so what happened in my unique folders i just put import it's supposed to be import let's save it So let's correct all these errors along the path. Okay, as you can see, it worked. The server started. So let me reload the page and see if we, there you go. We got, hello, I am learning Django. So yeah, that's it for this video. We learned how to write a very first line of code. A basically, like not a very first line of code. Basically, we learned how to give the user an output in a home page using Django, right? Okay, so now that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be um, like going around HTML files and how you can edit the things you want to give out to the user using HTML. All right. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.